Kenneth says that her life before Jesus and before she met Jesus was broken. She strongly disliked her, herself. I wanted to be a different person, and I hated myself so badly that I used self-harm because I thought I deserved the pain. I was a sinner, and I did not think I could be saved. I would be sad a lot, and I was a rude person to other people and myself. I didn't think I even deserved saving. I had an encounter where I was seeing what looked like scary figures in my room after I had cried one night. I knew the devil was getting to me, and I knew this was completely wrong. So I decided to pray, and all the figures went away, and I knew Jesus was there with me at that moment. The way I met Jesus was a couple months ago, a couple months later, when I was spending the night with my friend. Her family always went to church in the mornings, so I went along with them uh, to see what it was all about. The church I ended up going to was Cross Point. I was listening to the songs and message, and all throughout the morning at church, I felt something. I felt an urge to learn more about Christ, and it was like I heard a voice telling me that this was what I was made for. I now know that it is the Holy Spirit talking to me. I decided to tell my family about this church, and so we all started to go. I started learning about the gospel and realized this is what I was meant to live for. So my life since placing my faith in Jesus has been that all my family and I have started going to Crosspoint. I've learned so much about Christ and how Christ has done so much for me. I've realized that since the first time I went to church, um, I, I did not sing, but now I, I sing my heart out to the worship songs. I feel so much lighter now, and all that weight is off my shoulders, and I know that God saved me. I now have learned to love myself, and I know that I want to walk hand in hand with Christ. He is my Savior, and He has rescued me. And now I am ready for this next big step in my life. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. <laughs> Kenna, I'm so proud of you. And uh, is it true that you've placed your faith in Jesus? Yes. Amen. It's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your sins have been buried with Christ in his death. You're raised to walk in a brand new life.